From the city of Boston and the firm of Mad Pow, Samantha Dempsey and C.R. Taylor. In the past, we knew what design was and where design lived. It lived in places like furniture design studios, like museums and marketing firms. Now, both the definition and the application of design have expanded. You can find design in places like systems, in services, and in digital conversation. Design is even in healthcare, as I'm sure I don't need to tell you all. We are using design to reimagine the relationship between patients and doctors, to change the way we move through hospitals, and to rethink the ecosystem and touch points for doctors and patients alike. In some cases now, designers have the same influence as doctors. That is, the influence, the power to influence and impact human life. Think about it. Design influences everything from the medical devices that can be implanted into our bodies to keep our hearts pumping, to instead being part of the digital tools that we use to make or break our healthy habits. But unlike doctors, we don't have an ethical code to guide us. Where doctors have the Hippocratic Oath, a code that clearly defines the ethical boundaries of a doctor's interactions with their patients, designers are left to make these decisions on their own. We have no equivalent. So what rules do we have to guide our design decisions? Why aren't we talking about these ethics in design? We don't teach designers this in design school. We don't prepare them to have these conversations. And even when we're out in our practices as professional designers, we don't talk about ethics. We simply do not have the language nor the designated space as a professional community to have these conversations. We are the curators of the designer's oath, and we're here to have those conversations with you. The Designer's Oath is a tool to help multidisciplinary teams find and define their common ethical ground. While the oath can be applied to a variety of design decisions, it is most important to use it when designing in healthcare where human lives are impacted with every decision we make. The oath all started at an IXDA local leaders event in Boston, where we invited about 30 designers to help us rewrite the traditional Hippocratic Oath to become more uh, applicable to design. But after doing that, we wanted something that had more individual designers' voices in it. So we experimented a bit more and reached out to 15 designers across the globe through an effort for the Service Design Network publication, Touchpoint. We created a template based on the original Hippocratic Oath and asked participants to modify and illustrate the oath to reflect their ethical guidelines within their design practices. Next, we brought the designer's oath to the Healthcare Refactored Conference by Mad Pow. There, we brought together entrepreneurs, clinicians, and designers to together work in a workshop atmosphere to define these collaborative oaths. We also sparked some good conversations informally in the hallway. Now we understand the real power of the designer's oath. It's not about creating one oath for all designers, and it's not about the existence of the oath itself. It's about the conversations. The designer's oath has evolved into a tool that multidisciplinary teams can use to define the ethical guidelines for their engagement. A perfect example of this is the modern care team, where designers, clinicians, and project managers come together to wield the power of design for the good of the patient. But what is the good of the patient? Every member of that care team needs to collaboratively agree on what is right for them and appropriate for the people that they are designing for. Agreeing on what is right for the team is the first step. The oath facilitates those difficult conversations and documents it in a way that can be shared and reflected upon throughout a project. Uh, it serves as a reminder of all the ideals that the team members shared at the beginning of a project and can be the tool to measure the success at the close. The power to spark these conversations lies with you. Uh, we have a bunch of the oaths that have already been created up on our website, designersoath.com, to inspire you. And shortly, we're going to be posting the digital tools there that will allow you to spark conversations and record those outcomes within your own interdisciplinary collab uh, collaboration groups. You can also join the conversation on Twitter. Uh, we've been encouraging people to get started with a 140-character version of Oath. Get inspired by the oaths that exist at Designers Oath on Twitter. Join in on the conversation and let people know we are ready to talk about the responsibility we have to those we design for.
As designers and as interdisciplinary teams wielding the power of design, we must not continue to design for patients without having a clearly defined ethical guidelines. We must spark these conversations to ensure that we do more than simply do no harm. With design, we must do only good. Ha, ha, ha.